Leaders and representatives of countries gathered in Ulaanbaatar, the city of nomads, in the past two days to meet minds and sustenance of democracy in their countries and encourage others to imbibe the universal form of government as a way of life. In their declaration, the community not only reaffirmed, reiterated, but recognized that human rights, democracy, and rule of law should be strengthened. They also said states must work to eliminate discrimination and allow equal opportunities for participation of women in nation building. On the continent of Africa, the community said Mali should be supported to return to democratic order. The parliamentary body of the organization, recognizing the multi-layered problem of corruption, said it corrupts public confidence in state institutions, its elected representatives and officials of state. They said corruption is antithesis of democracy and must be fought with steadfast political will and integrated work in all sectors of society. Addressing delegates, Vice President Sambo said the Nigerian government is committed to providing a platform of transparent and accountable government. He said the Jonathan administration is striving to overcome challenges on the way of strengthening democracy in the country. Through the institutionalization of good governance, these principles we believe are cornerstones of stability, creation of opportunities, as well as economic growth. The Mongolian president and representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations and other stakeholders all agreed that democracy is prosperity. Which are based ultimately in faith in human nature, in the belief that human beings desire light above darkness and that they have the capacity to choose the positive above the negative. Ecuador is next for the presidency of the Community of Democracies, then Nigeria in 2015.